What's going on YouTube? It's Phil here. I'm here to talk to you about safety and uh, safety in the respect of crypto, protecting yourself uh, from getting scammed, good practices and just things that we should be doing because as we're getting into this degen era where people are just aping into shit coins, memes and all this kind of stuff, uh, I just thought I'd just put out a few pointers there. Uh, definitely not my first rodeo. I've been here, everything that's happened I've, that I'm about to discuss, I've been scammed, I've been done, lost money, done things, so that you don't have to. So we, we're not just a one-trick pony here. We talk about safety and a lot of things, how to protect yourself financially, mentally, um, physically. Uh, and now this is just another aspect that we're going to discuss and it's very important. So uh, listen up and uh, this is pretty much just a, an easy, quick guide to protect yourself. So the first thing I want to touch upon is not your keys, not your crypto. So if you're storing uh, crypto on exchange, that is not your money. It's like uh, I put money in the bank account. Is it my money? Well, it is until I can't access it, you know, until your bank card can't access it. You know, where you store gold, that's your gold until you need to go get it. And then they tell you to piss off the guys that run the center and you can't get in and it's fully locked secure. Um, it's a full locked security it's a, uh, facility. So same thing with exchanges. You keep your keys, on, you keep your crypto on exchanges. That's yours until you can't log in. Just remember that. That's the whole point of crypto is to self custody, to have your own assets. How do you store it and where do you store it? Well, you can choose an external, multiple external wallets. There's hundreds of external wallets. Um, I personally use uh, MetaMask. It's an extension on Google Chrome. Now, that is safe to a degree. You have to secure it via this next thing that I'm going to talk about, which is a hardware wallet. So the hardware wallet is it can't be compromised. It's something external that you plug into um, into your computer, your laptop, and it's no different. You can send, it generates an address for a lot of different changes, for a lot of different chains, and you can send it, it generates an address there, and you send it from an exchange to your hardware wallet. Um, it is the safest, that's where I store all my crypto, um, so you can't get scanned. The whole point is, is that yeah, they can. They might be able to keystroke your passwords and stuff like that, and figure out what your password is. Whatever, whatever your password you're running, whatever you think that you've outsmarted people and everyone, and that no one will guess it. Well, someone will guess it, and someone they have programs to find out what this is. But the whole thing is that you can't physically send your crypto unless you click physically on this external device. So a hardware wallet is the the best possible thing that you could possibly get. I personally use Ledger. They've had stories about, oh, it's been compromised, whatever. Pfft, I've never had a problem with it. Um, there's a, there's another one called a Trezor, but I've never personally used it. Ledger's fine for me. Uh, whatever it is, I don't care. What it, whatever you think that you need to get, whatever you don't like, just get a hardware wallet. So I'll be doing that. I'll be taking it off exchanges as well. If you've got big money, <clears throat> if you're floating around with a couple grand or something like that, it's, it's not a big deal, you know. Um, it's definitely more than safe. Um, pick the big ones. Uh, more exotic ones if you want to go get your shit coins. Yeah, don't get me wrong, they'll be mint. They will be good to, to get, but the idea is to get self-custody it. So get it into like an external wallet for um, like a ledger, or if not, just one that you fully trust. Uh, I use MetaMask, but there's, there's hundreds of them. I've probably, yeah, I'm not naming another few obvious ones, but yeah, but definitely that's what I use. Anyway, so they're the first two ways and that they're probably the most important ways. Um, don't, yeah, the other one is, I know you want to be active in Telegram groups, get alpha and all that kind of stuff, but people are there to rob you. It is player versus player in there. Do not talk to people. Do not click on links. They will, it'll install malware on your computer. Definitely no external links unless they're from the, the team or the direct links themselves from like Twitter, um, or Telegram, officially pinned Telegram. Uh, messages and all that kind of stuff. Don't interact with anyone. They are not who they say that they are. And they are there to scam you. That No one gives a shit about you. They're there to take your money. As when you sell your crypto, you've essentially taken it money from someone else who's bought it at a higher price. It's you always taking something from someone or them taking something from you. So just remember that. 
Um, and yeah, like just yeah, like it's not everyone's out there has your best intention. So don't interact with people. They're all scammers. Ninety nine percent of them uh, only click on official links, and that's that. And even if you do get compromised, the whole point of the ledger is that they can't take it because they physically need to click it so they can try. It's gonna. It might prompt you to. Um, confirm the transaction, but you can't because you can't, you're not clicking it. So, you know, so just, just always remember that. Another thing is, is like, like oh, this is what I didn't get about, about staking as well. Why, why would you stake for 10%, put it on a platform where you can stake through their platform? I'm sure you can get rewards. And what if that protocol goes down? What if something happens? You've, you've locked up your tokens, you need to get out and you can't just get out. It's not, smart in my opinion to lock it up so you can't get it out but you, you probably can at a at a like a like a severance fee to get out but you know why give them your coins the whole point is for you to have their coins if you bought it and you think that it's going to 50 100x isn't that enough why do you need that extra 20 percent why stress about that if you're hoping that it's going to appreciate that's enough like don't be too greedy you're going to get wrecked there was a thing called celsius just Look it up. That's kind of what went down in 2022 when that all went to shit. People lost heaps of money. I personally know a couple of mates that lost hundreds of thousands of dollars on that. Um, they just got stuff back now, like, but not even fully 100%. Near, nowhere near 100%, but it was just like, oh, here you go. Yeah, that's, that's the best that we could do. You're going to get nothing. Be happy with it. So just always remember staking is not worth it. Um, you're setting yourself up to get wrecked. You're, you're giving your, your tokens away. You're locking it up in a protocol. If you need to get out, you can't just get out. It's not smart, in my opinion, to do it. So I'd avoid it, in my opinion. Um, so well, the other one is, yeah, the more degen, the, the more degen, the more steps, the more wallets you're using, you're just setting yourself up to get wrecked. Only don't spread yourself too thin. Don't get into too many projects like that. You've got to keep tab heaps of tabs on what you're doing and stuff like that. Uh, you're going to lose passwords. Uh, if you write stuff down, don't squint, print screen passwords just in case your phone's compromised. Write everything down by hand, old school, you know, just the old way, write it down. Uh, and I get, yeah, so like in recap, if it's on your exchanges, not your crypto, get a hardware wallet so you don't get wrecked. Um, stay out of telegram groups of talking to people. People are there to take your money. Just know that. Um, don't, uh, don't stake guys. Like it's, the, it's not worth it. I know you want to participate in the network, but if you think that you're going to get a hundred X, isn't that better to just, you know, get like the game without all the hassle and just in case shit goes down and then, yeah, like the less steps, the possible, the less steps, uh, the better. Um, and I'm just saying this just so you don't get wrecked. And I know that, I know that it's going to get frothy. Um, you're going to think that you're going to want to participate in this to get these airdrops and whatever but i've i've been making good money and i haven't been doing any of that shit and i'm stress-free so just something to think about guys don't get wrecked hey this is the thing you can get wrecked but the the market is forgiving you can get wrecked multiple times and still hit a home run so don't keep trying uh, always strive to be better and just remember don't get wrecked <laughs> I'll, I'll see you in the next one ciao